Even though dogs are the most popular pet in the world, there are a lot of weird things most people don't know about them. Like, the real reason they smile can actually be scary. They have an extra organ that helps them smell so well. And they have an extra bone in their body in the weirdest place you can imagine. You'll learn the truth about all these, but first, here's one of the craziest facts. Dogs can actually do math. There was a study done where they showed a dog treat and then put it behind a small screen so that the dog couldn't see it. Then they showed the dog another treat and also put that one behind the screen. So we've got two treats here, right? When they removed the screen and showed the dog the two treats, the dog looked at the treats for a certain amount of time. But when they either secretly added an extra treat or removed a treat, so the dog expected two, but only saw one or three treats, then the dog spent a longer time looking at the treat signifying that they were trying to figure out why the number of treats wasn't what they expected. And if you're like me and you're wondering why dogs need to do math in the first place, the study mentioned that it could be helpful for mama dogs to count their puppies so that they know everybody is accounted for. We've got another fun fact about dogs and their amazing brains, but first, here's a fun fact about their most impressive organ. A dog's nose print is unique to each dog, just like a human's fingerprint. No two dogs have the same beads and grooves in their nose, but this isn't just a useless dog fact. There's an app in the works where you can scan your dog's nose print, and if they ever get lost, they can be identified by their nose print and be reunited with you. And although humans and dogs are the same, and that we each have a unique print on our bodies, here's something that's oddly different. If you ever see a dog running around on a hot day, you'll notice that they're not drenched in sweat like we would be. Instead, they have a different way of cooling down panting. When they pant, water evaporates from their nose, mouth, and lungs, which cools them down, just like how sweat evaporating from our skin cools us down. They do have sweat glands on the bottom of their paws, which they sweat through a little, just not as much as us humans. And these sweat glands on their paws are important for a weird fact we'll talk about later. But first, let's get back to a weird fact about dogs and their noses. Their noses are always wet, not because they have a constant runny nose, but because it helps them smell better. Their wet nose absorbs scent particles, and then when they lick their nose, these scent particles are taken from their nose to a special organ above the roof of their mouth. This organ helps them smell better, and it's called the Jacobson's organ. And if you've ever looked at the roof of your dog's mouth, you can actually see that light-colored little bump behind their top front teeth, which is pretty much the entrance to this organ. Now we all know many of a dog's senses are better than our human senses, but it actually doesn't start out that way. Puppies are born deaf and blind. They don't even open their eyes until they're about two weeks old, and their hearing doesn't really develop until they're three weeks old. So the little furry potatoes are heavily dependent on their sense of smell when they're born. Of course, they grow and develop quickly, which takes us back to a weird fact about how smart dogs are. But first, if you love dogs as much as we do, subscribe to Doggy Digs so you never miss out on any of our future doggy videos. Okay. Did you know that a dog is about as smart as a two-year-old human? Scientists came to this conclusion by studying how many words a dog can learn. On average, a dog can learn 165 words, which is about what a two-year-old human can learn. And that's only the average. The smartest dog on record is Chaser, a border collie that knew over 1,000 words. But that's not the only way that dogs are similar to human toddlers. Here's another weird fact. A study from scientists in Hungary found that dogs experience jealousy. When a dog's owner was in a room showing more attention to another dog, the dog tried to steal back their owner's attention and stop their owner from giving attention to the other dog. Our dogs love us and always want to be close to us, which brings us to a controversial fact that the AKC found. 45% of dogs sleep in the bed with their owners. Like we mentioned in our video about scientific ways to get your dog to love you more, this can actually help strengthen your bond with them. And speaking of the bedroom, this next fact can help dogs strengthen their bond with their mates and just might be the weirdest fact in this video. Male dogs actually have a bone in their penis. This bone is called a baculum and as you probably guessed, its function is to provide stiffness to help with making puppies, but it's not too stiff. Scientists did a bone scan and found that this penis bone is not as dense as one of their leg bones. This is likely to reduce the risk of fracture in case things get a little bit too crazy. And if this is the craziest fact in this list, this next one is a close number two. 
One study from scientists in Europe found that dogs prefer to poop with their bodies aligned with the Earth's magnetic field. Over two years, they studied 1,893 poops from 70 different dogs and took note of how they positioned their bodies each time. They noticed that if the Earth's magnetic field conditions were calm, then they preferred to poop in alignment with magnetic field lines, which run north and south. According to the study, this is the first time that magnetic sensitivity was proven in dogs. It kind of feels impossible to recreate the findings from this study, but that's not the case with this next weird fact. Scientists have found that dogs can be right pod or left pod just like humans. Let's put my dog Oliver through three of the tests researchers use to determine a dog's dominant paw. First up is the Kong test. This is where researchers give a dog a Kong filled with frozen kibble and see how they get it out. You can see my dog using his left paw to stabilize the toy. Now you might think this means he's a lefty, but a study in 2016 found that the paw used to stabilize a toy is actually the non-dominant paw, while the paw used to stabilize their body is the true dominant paw. So according to the Kong test, my dog is likely a righty. Next up is the tape test. This is where you put a piece of tape on your dog's nose and see which paw they use to remove it. Oliver uses his right paw here, and I gave him some treats as a thank you for putting up with these shenanigans. Then we have the first stepping test. This is a simple test that looks at which paw dogs use to step with first. I got mixed results here. Sometimes he stepped with his right paw first, other times with his left. This might be an example of some tasks being paw dependent, which some of the studies found. Or maybe he's ambidextrous, or we just need to do more trials to see what his dominant paw actually is. But although some of these studies are up for debate, this next weird fact isn't. Dogs have three eyelids. Yep, it's not always visible, but if you catch them snoozing with their eyes open, you can sometimes see it poking out of the inside corner of their eye. It's there to protect their eye and provide the tear film, and instead of going up and down like normal eyelids, it actually slides across the eye. Weird, right? But that's not as weird as this next fact, which can accidentally result in an unexpected surprise. When a female dog mates with a male, she can have his puppies. But if she mates with another male during her fertile period, she can have his puppies too, in the same litter. Yep, puppies from one litter can have multiple fathers, this actually happened to my friend who thought he was getting a purebred golden retriever. The breeder didn't keep his male Labrador away from the female golden that he was breeding with a male golden. After a few months, it was apparent that some of the puppies were purebred goldens, while some, in the same litter, were actually golden retriever and lab mixes. And yes, this can happen with human twins too, but we're not going to get into all that drama on this channel. But I do have some doggy drama for you. For years, scientists thought that the earliest dogs were with humans 14,000 years ago. But in 2008, scientists found dog remains from 31,700 years ago. This means that dogs have been around for twice as long as we first thought, which makes me happier for our ancestors. Now the dog resembled a big Siberian Husky and ate horses, ox, and reindeer, which, if I'm being honest, sounds pretty much like a wolf to me. But apparently they were different. The Paleolithic dog had a wider and shorter snout, a relatively wider brain case, and a smaller skull than a wolf. We've got some weird facts about dog paws coming up, but first, here's a dog who definitely didn't have a smaller skull than a wolf. Zorba, the English Mastiff, is the world's longest and heaviest dog. He weighed 343 pounds, more than most NFL linemen, and he was 8 feet 3 inches long from nose to tail. This is about as long as two full-grown German Shepherds. But Zorba isn't the tallest dog. Zeus, a Great Dane, is the proud owner of that achievement. He's three feet five inches tall at the shoulders, and people describe him as being as big as a small horse. When he stands on his hind legs, he's actually taller than Shaquille O'Neal. But at the opposite end of the spectrum, we have Pearl. Pearl the Chihuahua is the shortest dog living. She's only 3.59 inches tall and five inches long. She's about the size of two dollar bills stacked on top of each other, and she only weighs 1.2 pounds. Now here's another weird fact that doesn't really make sense at first. A dog's ears can help them smell better. Well, at least for bloodhounds they can. Their floppy, low-hanging ears actually sweep scent particles towards their nose so they don't miss anything when they're hot in a trail. And even the creases in their face can help them smell by trapping scent particles in there. Now here's one of the most adorable thing about dog paws. Their paw pads are cute, but they're even cuter if you look at them upside down. You'll probably notice that they look oddly similar to koala bears, 
But while you're down there looking, you might notice an odd smell. Not a bad smell, just the unexpected smell of Fritos. So why do dog paws smell like Fritos? Well, the smell is a normal byproduct of harmless bacteria, usually Proteus or Pseudomonas. They both occur naturally in our environment. It's just that when your dog licks their paws or when they sweat through their paw pads and the moisture mixes with this bacteria, it creates a smell strangely similar to Fritos, popcorn, or tortillas. This mix up is harmless, but it's not the case with this next weird fact. When dogs smile, they look like the happiest animal in the whole wide world. But there's just one problem. People are often bad at identifying dog behaviors, and what can sometimes look like a smile is actually not a smile at all. For instance, a dog might have their mouth open and curling up at the corners, like this dog, which makes it look like he's smiling. But when you look at the rest of his body language, like him lunging forward and barking, chances are he's not, quote, smiling because he's happy. And then you've got this little guy. It does kind of look like he's smiling because he's showing his teeth like a human would but he's probably baring his teeth as a warning to not come any closer because he's scared or because he doesn't want you touching his stuff. But when a dog is feeling aggressive, isn't the only time you might misidentify a smile. When some dogs pant, it looks like they're smiling because their mouth is half open, but they might actually be panting because they're anxious. The scary thing here is that you can accidentally make your dog more anxious because you think that they're smiling and they're happy, so you continue doing what you're doing, which is just making them more uncomfortable. Yes, dogs do often smile because they're happy, but with identifying all dog behaviors, it's important to look at the whole picture, like their ears, their tongue, their eyes, and their posture, and not just one part of their body. And speaking of misidentifying dog behavior, watch this video about the hidden ways dogs show you they love you next.